What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we are going to be fixing a few things related to the character's death which we've made in the previous video. So yeah, let's try it out and see what the game plays like right now. So if we kill the enemy, and you know, you can lock on and kill the enemy, it's more like a game now. And when they die, they will ragdoll. But yeah, the ragdoll just stays like that, and um, yeah, it, it becomes re really weird, like, kind of like a uh, rubber character. So yeah, we are gonna fix that, and we are also gonna make them drop the weapon when they die. So as the death animation plays, they drop the weapon, and they then they die. So first, we want to fix the ragdoll problem quickly. Uh, in my character models folder, there is a Maria asset, and with it imported, there should be something called a physics asset. So you want to go there and open it up, and we have this uh, asset for like um, how the character ragdolls. For example, if you hit simulate, you can see um, that uh, yeah, you can see how the physics work for this character. So. I'm gonna select everything, like um, select only one of them, then press Ctrl A, or you can go and select them here one by one. And um, it has a quick fix, which is over here. There should be linear damping and angular damping. And uh, basically, this one, the more you increase it, it becomes more, um, you know, more hard to bend the character. So for example, I'm gonna make it 5 for each of them. And if we hit simulate, you can see that it's much slower. And yeah, it's no longer it's still weird, but, but uh, not that weird. So we're gonna try it out and see if it works. Yeah, it's still weird. So uh, I'm gonna find another way to fix it. And that is... Um, yeah, let's try making it 10, and uh, hope that it works. So I made it 10 for both, and I hit simulate, and as you can see, it's mu it's much much slower now. Yeah, it still looks weird. You know, uh, this really reminds me of Assassin's Creed. So to try to fix it, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna change the sizes for each of those to make it more f fit the character more. I'm not sure if it will work or not, but yeah, let's try it out. So I'm gonna select both the arms and make them smaller, like this. And uh, I wanna make sure that they don't collide with other body parts. So I'm also gonna decrease the length and make them like this, like change the location of them. And also the torso part or the head, I'm not sure what this is in exactly. So yeah, it, it's the head. So there are a lot of ones for the torso. We're just gonna make sure they don't collide too much. You know, this doesn't have to be too accurate. We're just gonna, you know, Try to make the minimum mark. So as you can see, the rotation is even weird for them. Yeah, I should have turned on snapping before rotating. Yeah, this is fine. So what else? We have the legs. We're gonna make them thinner and shorter. And also the um, calves. Oh, okay. We're gonna make them thinner. And just a little bit shorter. And also we have the feet. Like this. And the hands, we're gonna make them thinner also. And yeah, if we hit save and simulate... It's still weird, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try it out and see if it works. 
you know, we want to make sure that it doesn't twist too much. Yeah, still twisting. It's a little bit better, like it doesn't keep moving, but uh, there's still something more we can do. And that is, we are going to select the constraints for the, um, you know, for the, um, what are they called? Yeah, the joints. So we're going to select the cost constraints for the joints, all of them, from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to limit their movement so that they don't move too much. Like there are... Okay, we'll see now. We're going to see. So over here on the details panel, there should be the angular limits. Right now it's uh, 45, so I'm going to double that. What's the double of 45? I think it's 90. So 90... 90... And 90 and if we try it out now yeah we're gonna try it in the game it's not really accurate when we try it in the physics asset yeah it's a little bit better but not too much so um, I'm really not sure okay let's try doubling the 90 which is 180 so we're gonna try that And if we simulate, yeah, that's very weird, but we're going to try it anyway. Yeah, it's still the same. Mm. Okay, I'm going to try five for each and see if there's any difference. And simulate. Okay, now it's so stiff. Yeah, I think this is what we wanted. We wanted to decrease it instead of increase it. So I think it looks way too stiff now, but we're gonna see it anyway. Yeah, this is what we wanted, but um, instead of five, we're gonna go with 20. Four out of them. 20, 20, 20. And if we hit simulate, yeah, that's perfect, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks like a shimmy dance. Whatever, let's try it in the game. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit better, but still too stiff, so I'm not sure. We're gonna try 35. I know this is boring, but uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, this is a big part of game development, so experimenting and doing stuff until they are perfect. Like, they don't have to be perfect perfect, but, uh, yeah, just try to make it as good as you can, and then you'll come back to it later. No, this isn't good. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, let's try, um, doing the, uh, changing this one again, which is, uh, what was it called? Yeah, linear damping and angular damping. I'm gonna make it five for both of them. And if we simulate, yeah, it's mo moving more now. So we're gonna try it out in the game. Yeah, I think uh, 10 is good, but we're gonna try 20. You know, since we have a death animation, we want the ragdoll part to be very slight, so we don't want it to be, like, fast, and um, we don't want to disconnect the character. Yeah, I guess this is good. So if we take a look at it without any of these, so with them back to default, you can see that it looks like this. But uh, yeah, let's try it out in the game.
yeah, it's not good. So I think instead of 20, I'm going to go with 15 and I'm not going to test it. Try these independently, like each one on its own, but I'm not gonna do that, so yeah. Now that we have the ragdoll issues out of the way, we are gonna make sure to make the enemy drop the weapon when they are dying. Okay, so over here I'm gonna change a little bit. First of all, I'm gonna change the name of the macro. Instead of change health, I'm gonna make it change health and death. Okay, my caps lock is on, death M, which stands for macro. I think it's important to not uh, do the, um, like, it's important to keep naming things consistently because uh, you don't, you know, you don't want to lose, like, forget everything. So I'm going to comment on the first part, I'm going to call it check health. And uh, from the branch, like from the set and onwards, I'm gonna call it death. But uh, first we're gonna, you know, make the weapon drop when the animation montage is playing. So even before the character falls, he drops the weapon as he dies. So we're gonna get a reference to the Sword of Nobles. And um, what we wanna do is we are gonna change the... We're gonna simulate physics and change the collision so we're gonna type in set collision enabled and we're gonna change it to physics only and that is because the sword actually does not have collision so basically when you're hitting any when you're hitting walls the sword goes through the walls i know it's a bit stupid but uh, yeah what can we do and where is it yeah this one sets to simulate physics we are gonna copy it and paste it here and move everything to the side and the target is the sword and one more thing we want to add and that is set collision profile and uh, yeah we are giving it like um, we are setting the profile name for the collision so the profile name that we want to go with is um, what is it called exactly so collision presets it should be here um where is it yeah block all we're gonna go with block all so type in block all and uh, i think we should be good to go so we're gonna give it a try so i'm gonna compile and hit play and try killing the enemy and as you can see, they drop the weapon. I think uh, before dropping the weapon, there needs to be like a slight delay. So as you can see, they drop the weapon as soon as they die. Uh, I'm gonna give it like a few moments of delay. So I'm gonna copy this. And oh, wait, yeah. We need to connect this here like this and the delay we're gonna add it here we're gonna try it before making space for it in case it's not good 
So we are gonna make it, I don't know, 1.3 seconds or just one second. And the other delay, we are also gonna make it only one second because we already added like over here 1.3 and that one one because we split it into two. Half of the delay happens before we drop the weapon and the other half happens um, after the character dies before we start the ragdoll part. So we're gonna compile and give it a try and see how it works. So we kill our enemy. They die and then they drop the weapon and then they die. And as you can see the ragdoll is much better than before and we drop the weapon. Uh, I, how long was it? Like how long is this video? Let me see. Yeah, it's been a while and it took a little bit of time. So I think uh, I'm gonna end the video here and do the uh, health bar in the next video. So we already added the health bar, but we need to change a few things and we wanna make it um, decrease the health when we get attacked. So yeah, please guys look forward to it. Uh, make sure that you subscribe if you're new to my channel and turn on the notification bell if you are uh, not subscribed and make sure to like the video if you want to support my channel and help me make more of these videos and super special thanks to my precious patrons who are supporting this channel and this tutorial series and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.